morning. Today we're going to discuss the pathology of the dynamic nervous system and let's start our lecture. So the activities of all internal organs are regulated by the symptom, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Therefore, doctors of all specialties have to deal with various pathological of autonomic organs innervation. The main problems is the variety of symptoms. Uh, symptoms are inherent in the pathology of a different organs and system and the difficult uh, differentiation between orgi organic pathological and functional disorders. So, autonomic nerve systems they consist from two levels. First level is central level, it's supra, a segmentary autonomic nervous system, and lower level is peripheral level, it's a segmental autonomic nervous system, which includes two main uh, parts, it's sympathetic autonomic nervous system, and parasympathetic autonomic nerve, nerve system. It's more common to deal with mixed sympathetic parasympathetic manifestation, but it's often possible to identify an overreading of different focus in individual functional system like sympathetic activity in cardiovascular and parasympathetic system in a gastrointestinal system, for example. So here in the picture, you can see a scheme that explains how parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system regulate function organs. If you pay attention, you may see that the same organs have a different result by uh, regulating of different parts of the autonomic nerve system. For example, the parasympathetic nerve system innervation makes the construction of bronchs and another uh, situation if the sympathetic nerve system will uh, irritate the lungs and uh, its signals will dilatate the bronchs. So it's absolutely opposite meaning an opposite uh, function in a, the same organs. If we'll talk about lesion of autonomic nervous system, we need to divide it on a two main group. It's a local, it's dysfunction in particular structures, uh, like uh, Disturbance of system, sympathetic innervation in the eye or another organ, and diffuse. It's defeat of the entire system by thumb central or peripheral pathological process. Anyway, all system of autonomic nerve system disorders are dynamic. They always change, they always personal, and they depend on many factors that surround a person, and it always unstable and dynamic. So, if we will talk about autonomic disorders, first of all, we need to divide it on paroxysmal autonomic disorders. It's mostly a crisis, like panic attacks and permanent autonomic disorders. Usually they are not absolutely stable characteristic, but they are frequent variations that are not clinically catch and do not reach in the levels of autonomic crisis. Autonomic disorders usually include some kind of um, sites like hypergidrosis, local or general, lability of blood pressure and pulse, chills, fever, neurogenic disorders of urination, urination and deformity, uh, subfibrillatory disorder, static hypertension, panic attack, uh, peripheral autonomic syndrome, migraine, uh, Angiotrophonevrosis, renal syndrome, and so on. 
all autonomic disorders mostly divide on these groups. It can be autonomic dystonia syndrome. Uh, for example, it's hyperventilation syndrome, peripheral autonomic insufficiency, angiotrophologic system. It can be a volition of sweating, salivation disorders, volition of the tear secretion, sexual insufficiency, and so on. If we pay attention on autonomic dystonia syndrome, we will understand that the manifestation uh, of all forms of autonomic regulation relation. Autonomic dystonia is called syndrome because as a rule, autonomic disorders are secondary manifestation of various form of pathology. Uh, there are three main forms of autonomic dystonia syndrome. Uh, can be distinguished uh, first as psychoautonomic syndrome, it's peripheral autonomic insufficiency syndrome, and angiotrophologic system. Psychoautonomic syndrome, there are permanent paroxysmal autonomic disorders. The most common one is panic attacks or some forms of fainting. Uh, due to the dysfunction of autonomic nerve system, suprasegmentary division. Psychogenic, uh, psych uh, psychogenic factors play a major role in the etiology of this syndrome. Autonomic, autonomic insufficiency syndrome, uh, conditioned by organs defeat of uh, segmental autonomic system, specific sympathetic and parasympathetic nuclear nodes, peripheral preganglionary and postganglionary autonomic forms. Uh, its characteristic clinical manifestation are uh, orthostatic hypertension, tachycardia, dress and uh, rigidity, pulse, uh, hypogetrosis, blood rose of urinary incontin incontinence, changes like diarrhea, impotence, and so on. The syndrome is mainly found in disease affected the peripheral nerve system, um, like diabetes, alcoholism, and so on, but also in a disease of central nerve system. Uh, for example, multisystem atrophy. Angiotrophologic syndrome. The clinical picture of this syndrome is characteristic uh, combination of azometrotrophic and painful manifestation. The syndrome is based on the laser uh, of mixed nerves, plexus, and root, and, and uh, the innervated arm and legs. Uh, but it also can be a part of psychoautonomic syndrome, like for example, in, in case of renal disease. Uh, when we analyze the autonomic disorder system syndrome, a number of factors might be taken into account, such as the nature of autonomic disorders, first of all. Uh, is it permanence of paroxysmality? Uh, the polysystemic or monosystemic nature of the disorders, uh, generalized systemic or local disorders are shows. Uh, factors that cause autonomic disorders, we can divide on few groups, but the most common one is constitutional features. Uh, autonomic disorder syndrome of constitutional nature usually manifests itself from early childhood and it characterized by unstable autonomic parameters such as rapid change of color uh, of skin color, sweating, varying, ha varying heart rate, blood pressure, pain, and dyskinesia in the gastrointestinal tract, uh, propensity of subfibrillitis, so now they are poor tolerance of physical and mental stress, metatropy. These disorders are often hereditary. With age, with uh, right hardening, upbringing, these individuals achieve some compensation. Although they remain autonomously stigmated all their life. 
another group of factors that cause autonomic disorders it's psychological condition uh, if you talk about psychological nature, it occurs in a healthy people in face of acute or chronic stress, especially if it's long la uh, length stress. Emotional, autonomic, and endocrine reaction to acute stress is a normal physiological response of the body and cannot be considered pathological. However, excess, excessive uh, in a death inadequacy of reactions, their duration and frequency and violation of the person's adaptive capacity are uh, already pathological. Uh, the basis of clinical manifestation of which is psychoautonomic syndrome. Another group of factors is hormonal changes in our organism. Uh, it usually it occurs during puberty and menopause. At puberty, there are two preconditions for emergence autonomic syndrome. Uh, acute emergence of new endocrine autonomic uh, interactions that require the development of other integrative patterns and a first of an accelerated growth of the body. This creates a gap between new physical parameters and vesicular, uh, vascular capacity. Both menopause and puberty are characterized by significant uh, psychological restructuring. Based on this fact, it can be assumed as that both endocrine and psychological factors are the base of those autoimmune disorders. Uh, automatic disorders. And another group of factors, it's organic somatic disease. Uh, many uh, psychosomatic diseases such as hypertension, ischemia, ulcer, bronchial asthma, and a lot of uh, visceral disease with a strong Algoric competence and like chronic pancreatitis often develop as psychoactive syndromes. Chronic pain syndrome, which are essentially chronic pain stress, cause strong, cause chronic pain stress, are also uh, accompanied by psychotonomic disorders. As later is also clearly presented in allergic disorders in it. And that's all about main information due to this topic. Uh, I hope that you are going good. Take care of yourself and thank you for your attention.